Welcome to North Metro TV News. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Rusty Ray. First up, as the temperatures drop, natural gas companies want customers to brace for higher prices. As Danica Peterson explains, there are reasons behind the increases, and there are also steps you can take to lower your bills. Back in February, freezing weather damaged natural gas systems in Texas, and these systems haven't fully recovered. At the same time, natural gas use is on the rise. As the demand is increasing to the pre-pandemic levels, supply isn't keeping up with that. Patrick Antonin is the city administrator for Circle Pines and the utilities administrator for the Centennial Utilities nonprofit. This is the only municipal gas organization in the metro area. Antonin says that even though customers may be better off with Centennial Utilities over a for-profit utility, customers should be prepared to pay higher gas prices. No matter what city you live in, they're going up. So if you're on Centerpoint, you're on XL, or you're on municipal natural gas, you're going to pay more this winter. It's just that's what's going to happen with the, the supply-demand issue. This issue has been in front of the Centennial Utilities Commission for months. It's kind of the perfect storm coming together this winter, and, and I think the market sees it happening, so they're, they're maximizing their, their potential profits. And while some estimates say natural gas bills could be 50% higher, Antonin says it's not that simple. You know, it all will depend on the weather. You know, if we get another polar vortex and prices, you know, continue to go, you know, increase exponentially, it's going to be a difficult winter. One thing is certain, the price of MMBTUs, or metric million British thermal units, is up. Way up. We're seeing projections that, you know, going into the 5 to 6 to $7 an MMBTU range, which, you know, that hasn't been seen probably in about 10 years. Antonin says that there are a few easy things you can do to reduce your gas use. Telling people, you know, do, do the kind of the simple things you can do to your, your home, your furnace, you know, making sure that you have your furnace tuned up, change your filters, check for leaks, you know, look at your insulation in your attic. I mean, all these things that can help, you know, opening your shades during the day, closing them at night. These little things you can do to, to cut down just a little bit on your, your gas usage will, will help overall in the end. And of course, you can also turn the thermostat down a bit, especially when you're not home. It's a very mild winter. You know, we have a lot in storage, so we can utilize that. That'll help out a lot, but you know, it really is just going to depend on Mother Nature. I, you know, hope we have the, the mildest winter on record, and then we'll be fine. For North Metro TV News, Danica Peterson reporting. We've set up links for you to learn more ways to save on your energy expenses at NorthMetroTV.com. We'll also have links there to energy assistance programs if you're having trouble paying your bills.